Hey guys, it is six o'clock in the morning and uh, we have a good light and variable wind day. which is the day that you want to cross Lake Oneida. We're gonna give all the ratchet straps a little clicky clicky. Because Lake Oneida will test how well you secured the rig to your boat with ratchet straps or whatever you use. So um, Lake Oneida is the worst part of the Erie Canal. It's the scariest part of the Erie Canal um, and you need to be ready with your mast. If you look at my video last year, I went into it with not enough ratchet straps and uh, things went pretty bad. The, the mast was moving around. Um, it was scary. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make sure we're secure. Um, we have the engine running, warming up, and then we're gonna be ready to go. Um, today is three to five knots, and it's variable, it's sort of spinning around, um, which is what you want on Lake Oneida. You do not want a big wind. Lake Oneida runs west to east, and predominant wind out of the west means when you come in on the east end right here, the waves are going to be massive. Um, so don't mess with Lake Oneida if you're doing the Erie Canal, do not mess with it. Um, you wanna go out in almost no wind, and you wanna go out with the mast extremely secure. Anyway, let's get started. Hey, Fred. Yeah, we got a couple hours before it starts. I got my raincoat out and everything, but it's not a storm, so screw it. All right, uh, they're putting a few gallons of fuel in from a jerry can, and they're going to get cracking. Um, I put five gallons in this morning, so I'm good for fuel. Uh, it's only 18 miles across, 18 and a half. We're going to uh, haul ass and try to get it done before it rains. You know how that goes. We are leaving the harbor, so you gotta go around this breakwater. Big, big wall. You can hardly see it, too. Um, last night, when we came in, when we parked, we got in at about six o'clock. Um, the waves were breaking over the breakwater. So, uh, gives you an idea of what Lake Oneida can do. Um, she's flat and calm right now, by the looks of it. I'm not seeing any waves at all. Um, if there are waves, when you're westbound, you'll be bashing the entire way, so you want to plan this one. Good morning. Good morning. Nice and calm out here, look at this. Now is the time. We got about three hours before it rains, and we got about three hours till we're there. So, fingers crossed. Now is the time, and here is the thing. Yeah, Mark was just throwing five gallons in, and then he's going to be right behind us. All right, guys, we're making a 6-2. I got an iPad on the uh, companionway hatch. I got one back here. But if it starts raining, the one back here doesn't do much good. So the one on the companionway hatch actually is out of the rain. Lake Oneida is beautiful. Absolutely calm, almost entirely flat. And this is the bad end. 
the east end is the bad end because it's long and skinny so the wind always comes predominantly out of the west it makes the east end really choppy uh, makes the whole lake really choppy but light and variable Hey guys, we are uh, reaching the end of Lake Oneida. Very, very calm out here, very flat. Uh, much better than last year. Anyway, we're gonna stop and get some diesel. When we get in there, Brewers and Boatyard has a diesel pump. So we'll stop there, get some diesel, and then uh, it's only nine o'clock in the morning, so keep trekking. All right guys, we're in Brewerton. Um, we are just going by the free wall where that's where you'll stay if you don't want to pay for a marina and you're waiting for Lake Oneida to calm down, which I definitely urge you to do. Uh, don't do it in wind. So the free wall is right here. This whole wall. There's no electric, there's no bathrooms, but it's a free wall, it's a free place to stay. Not a bad thing. All right guys, stop in Brewerton Boatyard right there. Filled up on diesel, 16, uh, 16 gallons. Not bad for like, I think three days of, or four days of motoring. When When is the last time we got diesel? It was a long time ago. So maybe even five or six days of motoring, uh, 16 gallons, so 50 bucks. And now uh, our buddy boat is uh, nowhere in sight. Uh, we messaged him on Facebook. We got the VHF on the agreed upon buddy boat channel, which is 6.8. When you pick your buddy boat channel, you wanna make sure you're not on a lower, lower power channel. Like channel 1.7 is low power. And you'll notice when you go to 1.7, your radio will go to low power. Um, 6.8 is a high power channel. So you can actually still talk for more than a mile away, uh, which is nice. But anyway, so no word from him. We're gonna, we're just gonna keep going. Um, next lock is two miles away, 20 minutes. Get it done. I mean, we're getting wet in the rain, but we're making miles and there's no wind. It's nice, it's cool, it's not hot. Love it. So, uh, what's that, lock uh, 23, I think? I think so. We're coming up on lock 23. Almost done.
we're at the split. Lake Ontario. Lake Erie. Cool. Hey guys, all right, we're coming up on uh, 2 p.m. We've been going since about six. We're coming up to Cross Lake. It's just a do a lot of miles today, put up with the rain. It is what it is. Okay guys, uh, lock 24 to lock 25, 40 miles. There is nothing. There's no towns, there's no docking, there's weed sport, but nobody ties up there because the Skipper Bob book says that many cruisers have been harassed. Anyway, uh, 40 miles, we're tired. Uh, it's been raining the entire day. So we're all in rain gear and it's just miserable. Just miserable, miserable. Um, we got really good weather for the last like couple weeks, so I think we're paying our dues right now. But um, we are three miles from lock 25, and then it's another five miles, I think, to lock 26. And then right after lock 26, we're gonna set it down for the night in Lyons, Lyons, New York. So he just told us uh, the next lock, which is 26, it closes in one hour. It's five miles away. So uh, as long as we're quick, we should be all right. All right guys, so here's the deal. Lock 25 said, we have to get to lock 26 before seven o'clock. Uh, we're doing six knots. We're gonna be there at like 6.50, maybe 6.45. Uh, so we should be okay, as long as they don't try to close early. So we're, we're kicking butt, doing like 2,800 RPM, making sure that we're uh, gonna be there in time. Fingers crossed they won't try to leave early. All right, we're one mile out, I'm calling him. He's not answering yet. It might be too far for the handheld. We're one mile from where I put the dot. We're still like probably a quarter mile from the block. I didn't really look. guys it stopped raining it's still pretty cold got my hands tucked into my sleeves um, we did 81 miles in the canal today which is just unheard of amount of miles in the canal at six knots huge huge amount of miles we're gonna set it down in lion or lions Lion, I don't know, uh, Lion, New York.
All right, guys, we are in uh, Lyons, New York. Free dock. Uh, there's free power. We're not going to bother plugging in because, well, you know, we don't really need power. Um, it's cool enough. It's going to be a nice night. And we had some YouTube fans meet us on the dock. So as soon as we pulled up, they grabbed our lines, helped us tie up. Uh, and then they asked if we needed anything. And I said, the only thing we're out of is beer. And they were like, we'll go get you some beer. So they just went to get us beer. 